The sun is shining in Montreal, and with it comes the streams of tourists packing in. So if you're looking for a good pair of headphones that drown out the extra noise of peak travel season, have we got the list for you. Hi, I'm Evan. And I'm Abby, and we're from Ratings.com. We've bought and tested more than 700 pairs of headphones and narrowed them down to give you the seven best that we've tested. The headphones in this list are mostly wireless over-ear units that connect with Bluetooth and come with an aux cable for wired listening. We've also included some open back wired options at the end of this list if you want something for pure listening pleasure. So if you're here for earbuds, this ain't your video. We base our picks off the performance, availability, and of course, the price. All the picks are marked in the chapters depending on their price, so if you're sure of your budget, skip ahead. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button before you do. Starting with the best all-around headphones, the Sony WH-1000XM4, or the XM4 for short. These headphones offer some of the best active noise cancellation we've tested. They can block out the chatter at the office and the ambient noise of heating and cooling systems. But where they really shine is in the bass range, offering unparalleled performance at blocking out the low rumble of bus engines and trains, making them the best choice for commuting to and from the office. Plus, with a 37-hour battery life, you'll only have to charge them once throughout the work week. In terms of sound profile, the XM4 bring the bass. They have a boomy sound that's great for EDM, hip hop, and other bass heavy genres. Some folks might find the default sound a little muddy, but you can adjust the EQ using the Sony Headphones Connect app. The adjustment options might be limited compared to other apps, but you'll surely find settings that best suit your tastes. Now, you might be wondering why we chose these headphones over the newer Sony WH-1000XM5s. Well, the answer is pretty simple. The XM4 are just better. In a nutshell, the XM5s just aren't as comfortable. And while they're the first headphones in the lineup to have adaptive ANC, it doesn't block out noise in the bass range as well as the XM4. So noises like bus engines come through much more noticeably. We've made a whole video comparing these two units, so I can leave it to my colleague Adam to explain all of the detailed differences. The Bose QuietComfort 45 Wireless, or QC45, really live up to their name. They quiet the world with their noise cancellation system, and they're very comfortable to wear thanks to their lightweight frame and soft, dense foam padding. As a neat detail, like the XM4, you can turn on noise cancelling when you have them plugged in with an aux cable. So if you're a jet setter who likes to watch in-flight entertainment, the QC45 are a great choice to cancel out engine noise or your neighbor snoring. Performance-wise, they have a neutral default sound profile, so you'll find a good balanced sound regardless of genre. Overall, they sound clear and bright, though if you're into thumpier bass, you'll have to use the app to achieve it. There are a couple minor downsides to these otherwise solid cans. Firstly, the ANC can create a feeling of high cabin pressure, which can be a tad uncomfortable for some folks who are sensitive to it. And secondly, the battery life. 21 hours of continuous battery life will get you through a couple of workdays at the office, but you'll have to charge them more often than the Sony or our next pick, the Anker Soundcore Space Q45s. The Anker Soundcore headphone lineup is full of excellent options to suit any budget, but their top tier model, the Space Q45, offers great noise cancellation, easy and intuitive controls, and an advertised 50 hour battery life, all at a nice price point. While we measured under that and got 28 hours, the battery life does vary quite a bit depending on your use. Sure, they aren't as comfortable as the Bose QC45, thanks to the metal headband adding a bit of tightness on the top of your head, like a tight ponytail, but overall the ear cups are spacious, have nice dense foam which is comfy against your head, and they feel well built. As mentioned, the noise cancellation is excellent, though it isn't as good as the Sony XM4 at blocking out voices and chatter in the background. Plus, with the noise cancelling on, it can feel like there's a little pressure on your ear, which you might find uncomfortable until you get used to it. Despite those minor complaints, they are an excellent optimization point between price and performance. They offer a good immersive listening experience, and their V-shaped default profile offers some nice thump to the bass and keeps the sibilance in the treble range sounding clear. And the companion app gives you a good range of customization to tweak the profile to suit your preferences better. At the low end of the budget, we have the Anker Soundcore Life Q20. Sound quality wise, these headphones sound very similar to the previously mentioned Space Q45s with a V-shaped default sound profile that's well suited to rock and pop jars. You can pump up the bass a bit using their built-in bass up feature, but you're out of luck for any other adjustments since there's no companion app. Another trade-off is lack of multi-device pairing. You can only connect with one device at a time, while most others on this list can connect with up to two devices simultaneously. So if you're looking for a pair of headphones to use with your phone and laptop, 
might be better off spending the extra 20 or so dollars on the Anker Soundcore Life Q30 wireless unit instead. That said, these are still very comfortable headphones with good padding on the ears, and they aren't too tight on the head. Though they have a plastic body, they're reinforced with a metal band, and for this price point, uh, their performance is pretty hard to beat. Of course, no list of the best headphones would be complete without looking at the actual creme de la creme, not just the best for most folks. The Sennheiser HD 800S are professional grade headphones with a professional grade price tag, and you can feel it. The second you put them on, you instantly feel immersed in music, attending your own little party for one. These are open back wired only headphones, so they're quite different from the rest of the picks on this list. By design, they leak audio so that it can interact with your environment and create a more immersive and natural sound. To get the most out of them, you'll need to invest in some powerful extras like a digital audio converter or DAC, for short, and an amplifier, which will run up the cost on top of their already exorbitant price. You get what you pay for with these headphones. They're a fantastic choice for studio mixing due to their neutral sound profile and outstanding audio reproduction. The soundstage sounds large, natural, and spacious, so the sound doesn't feel like it's coming from the inside of your own head. Naturally, with that kind of price tag, these headphones aren't for the casual listener. So if you want to get your foot in the door of audiophilia, consider the Philips SHP 9500. Obviously, they won't be as good at accurately reproducing audio as a pair of headphones that's 21 times more expensive, but that doesn't mean they sound terrible. They actually sound pretty good and reproduce vocals and instruments accurately so that they're natural and clear in the mixes. They also offer a great immersive soundstage to get you invested in your tunes. And you don't need to sink another couple of hundred dollars into extras since they're very easy to drive. Well, that's our roundup of the best headphones of summer 2023. Of course, when there's a nearly infinite number of products out there, some headphones didn't quite make the cut, but that doesn't mean we don't think they're great. We've got many recommendations, reviews, and even more over on our website. So head on there for more details and let us know what you're rocking down in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Evan. And I'm Abby from Ratings.com, where we help you find the best product for your needs. We're big believers in continuous improvement. Even though headphones is our biggest product category, it's been a while since we've looked at our testing methods. So we'd love your input. We have a wonderful article over on our website with some of our ideas for the future of headphones, but we'd love to hear from you. You can find the link in the description below. Hey you, you interested in joining our team? Cool. We're also interested in meeting you. Head on over to our careers page to see our open positions for our offices in Montreal. I'm Evan. And I'm Abby from ratings.com. Ratings. Artings. Ratings. Where we'll help you find the best product for your needs. <laughs>